This video takes a look at multiplying and dividing rational expressions that are made up of monomials. The advantage of monomials is that we don't have any adding or subtracting, which allows us more flexibility in how we simplify the expression. In this first expression, 25x squared over 9x to the 8th times 24y to the 4th over 55x to the 7th, we can simplify the numbers like we would simplify doing any multiplication of fraction problem. 25 and 55 are both divisible by 5, leaving us 5 and 11. 24 and 9 are both divisible by 3, leaving us 3 and 8. Now we could multiply the fractions straight across. 5 times 8 is 40. We also have an x squared and a y to the 4th. 3 times 11 is 33. We also have x to the 7th and y to the 8th. You may notice that we can also simplify the variables using the quotient rule of exponents. We're only allowed to do this because there's no adding or subtracting in either the numerator or denominator. We still have the 40 over 33, and then we subtract the exponents on x, 2 minus 7, to get negative 5. This means the x to the 5th goes in the denominator. Also subtracting the exponents on y, 4 minus 8 gives us negative 4, so the y to the 4th goes in the denominator as well. This expression is now completely simplified. Similarly, dividing works almost the same with the extra step at the beginning that says when we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So this would be a to the 4th, b squared, that's a really bad 4th, over a times 4 over b to the 4th. Again, let's multiply straight across, giving us 4 a to the 4th b squared, over a, b to the 4th, and then we'll simplify those variables. The 4 is still in the numerator, and on the a's, when we subtract the exponents 4 minus 1, we get a cubed in the numerator, because it's positive, and finally, on the b's, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, telling us the b squared needs to move down to the denominator, and we have our solution. Multiplying and dividing with monomial rational expressions has more to deal with our exponent properties than it does really the rational expression stuff. But it's a good practice to see the pattern that we multiply straight across, reducing where we can by dividing out factors. If it's a division problem, we have the extra first step of multiplying by the reciprocal.